Greetings, Kaiju fans, and welcome to our next episode of Throwback Thursday. And this is number nine in our series, and here we go. So today we have the Marmot 2004 1962 Godzilla, otherwise known as King Goji. And this one is the Super Festival in the exclusive color way of brown vinyl with silver, gold, black, and red paint. And this guy is 8 inches tall. And as you can see, he looks pretty sweet. When I got this guy some years ago, I had him kind of tucked away and I didn't really look at him too much. But in recent years, I've actually appreciated him more because he, he looks so darn cute. So this guy is already 16 years old and I have Sofubi figures that go back as far as 1996 and that's the Marmot Vinyl Paradise line which are a little bit bigger. But this guy's cool. He's, he's in the Monster Heaven series and I thought that this guy would be a great candidate for a Throwback Thursday episode as it's one of my favorites. And as you can see, he has a cartoonish kind of stylicized look but yet readily recognizable. And that's the cool thing. And they also look like figures from way back from the 70s. So hopefully you guys got a pretty good look of him. I've been rotating him around so you guys can see he is a very cool figure. And with nice detail and coloration. So I've noticed that there are more collectors getting into Safubi lately. And that's wonderful because they've been around a long time. And many of you may have seen the Safubi figures in the 1971 Godzilla vs. Ghidorah film. And it's cool that many companies are getting into it, whether it's Marmot, Marasan, Gigabrain, and there's probably even more. So anyways, coming up next, I'm going to have some comparisons. The first one being the NECA Reactor Glow Godzilla. This Godzilla was a Loot Crate exclusive, so... It was a little bit harder to get, and lately, the prices have skyrocketed, unfortunately. And here we have comparison number two with the NECA Kong. And being that they're both 8 inches tall, they scale perfectly. Last up is the... Oishima Mechagodzilla Kiru, and this one happened to be painted by our very own Cody, and he did a great job. Thank you, sir. Okay, my final word on this Marmot 1962 Godzilla Super Festival version from 2004 is that I think it's a really nice figure, really nicely done, and I think he is, like with most of Fubi, quite charming. So uh, there's not much more to say. Other than I like it, I think he's I think he's a nice addition. So stay tuned for my future videos and check us out at Kaiju Collectors on Facebook. And as usual, we post this stuff on Monsters with Attitude. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.